peckish. Definition, slightly hungry. I'm feeling a bit peckish, what's for dinner tonight? Any place you can recommend for a quick bite to eat? I'm feeling a bit peckish. Uh, so you dudes hungry? I'm a little peckish. Hmm, I'm feeling a bit peckish. Could you have the kitchen send up some bacon-wrapped scallops? I'll get my chef right on it. Sorry, I'm not usually this bad-tempered. I'm just really peckish. I'm feeling peckish. Have you had your lunch? Well, we've yet mm. to put in our kefla order if you're peckish. Oh, I can't stay. Hey, Simpson, I'm feeling a mite peckish. Mind if I chew your ear? A quid. Definition, a pound in money. I bought a new phone, and it cost me 600 quid. You're still out of pocket 50 quid. I must repay it. No need. How much? 10,000 quid. And he's paying me 500 quid a week in advance in cash. How much money? 600 quid. So, Jen, what are you going to do with your 500 quid? Come on, how much? OK, yeah. I'll give you 20 quid if you get one response. You're on. Plus, I was thinking, you know that 30 quid you owe me? Five quid says you can't do it again. A bloke. Definition, a man. You will like Henry. He's a really good bloke. You and your bloody great ideas. I mean, who's this bloke? Basically, you know, you're a bloke, I'm a bloke. We're both bloody good blokes. Do you mind? Thank you, bloke. I found myself a nice, slightly odd-looking bloke. <laughs> well, if you're not his brother, then who are you? Me. And the bloke that hit him. Maybe you know him. Tall bloke, scruffy hair. Wait, who's Nigel? He's a bloke from my own office. This bloke thinks I'm a window cleaner. This is the bloke that called into the television show. Knackered. Definition, very tired. I'm too knackered to go shopping after work. How about some tea, hmm? Jesus, I'm knackered. It's my mom. I'm supposed to meet her. I should probably go. Yeah, it's okay. I'm a bit knackered. Not really much for company. And where would he keep his records? In the morgue. Well, I might nap today if I don't get a coffee. Do you mind if I have one? I'm knackered. I'm sorry, I really need to get to school. I'd like some tea. God. Yes, please. Completely knackered. Knackered. So how was your day? Shit. A copper. Definition, a cup of tea. Would you like to come in for a copper? Thank you. Are they going to come in for a copper or what? <sighs> Fancy a copper then, mate. Yeah, why not? Do you want a cuppa? Nah. I liked the lady. You understand, monkey boy? She was decent. She didn't put on airs. I said a nice cuppa for me. I'll make you that cuppa. You rest your leg. Do you want a cuppa? Yeah. How about a nice cup and perhaps you can put away your half food. I need something stronger than tea. A fluke. Definition, something good that happens because of luck. It was just a fluke that I passed the exam. Let's just forget all our flaws, because today was a total fluke. It's not a fluke, it's efficiency. I don't know, guys. Sabotage? To take my part tonight? I think this was just a fluke. No one would do this on purpose. Everyone loves me. I just wanted to assure you that what happened the other night was a fluke. Sir, it was a fluke accident. The bathroom floor was wet. Let's try a hard one to make sure it wasn't a fluke. Uh, it was probably just a fluke. I'm going back tomorrow to find out. Oh, 
you stop talking about your crazy brother? That was a fluke. A mate. Definition, a friend. They've been best mates since they were children. Have a good one. You too, mate. Bye, mate. You can't protect your mate, mate. So who's your real best mate, Jeremy? Me or Jeff? Well, good luck, mate. Ooh, hello, mate. Morgan, come on, mate. You should listen to your mate. Cheers, mate. No problem, mate. Where is Dave's mate? Ooh, la, la. She is not my mate. She's my ex-mate. Dodgy. Definition, dishonest or not to be trusted. Don't buy a car from him. He's a real dodgy character. Those balloons can be a bit dodgy. You wouldn't want one of them to pop. Sounds dodgy. It's fine. What would make you say something like that? Well, POTUS was a little dodgy on the subject of his presser last night. Dodgy place. I was worried he was getting a little dodgy in the mill part, but then that finale. <laughs> I'm still not sure what happened to that dodgy business back in the jungle. I, uh, I had a, a dodgy curry the night before. I, I didn't tell you this, but I did the business underneath a, an overpass, you know, and he, he was dodgy from the beginning. Cheeky. Definition, rude or disrespectful, but often in a funny way. Stop being cheeky to your elders, will you? Can I say and have a glass of orange juice with Owen, please? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not being cheeky or anything. It's just, I quite hate the cellar. You can use that if you want. Oh, it's not going to use a cheeky slogan. He's a man of science. I like it. What did you say? I said... I think he's just being cheeky. It's great, but they're cheeky. We're all in the same boat, fellas. But our shenanigans are cheeky and fun. That's right, you're very, you're very cheeky for a temp. Oh, Marco. What a cheeky monkey. You cheeky bastard. In it. Definition, it's used after a statement for emphasis, instead of any question tag. You're coming to the party tonight, in it. But this baseball, it's so bleeding boring, isn't it? It's dead simple, isn't it? Normally, one dish is plenty, mm. but we know how you Americans like to eat, isn't it? Let's do it, huh? <laughs> That's just good business, isn't it? It's great, though, isn't it? It is. This is like your whole Balearic bullshit, isn't it? You blew up his head. It's a bit much, innit? Hey, can we talk? It's what we're doing, innit? It's a bulldog, innit? It'll get bigger, though, won't it? 